Oh, that's right, Makia. The party last night was so fun at Street Pizza. Packed house, everyone loving the food. First, I just want to say, Gordon Ramsay, I'm so glad you're on the mend and you're feeling better after that bike accident. Honestly, I, thank goodness nothing broke. Yes. Okay, so bruised, but standing and walking and talking and happy to be here. And thank you for coming. good spirits. Always good spirits. Oh, my goodness me. Um, and... Restaurant number three, street pizza for me, it's pizza with no rules. Yes. So, in Gord, we crust. In God, we crust. That's a great... Gord. Gord. Yeah. <laughs> Same difference. <laughs> so, I grew up with pizzas as a treat, and this is a very family oriented yes. restaurant. So, we have some fun, but more importantly, mumbo number five. So, this pizza, Makia, Steve, and I tried it last night. It yes. was our favorite. True to DC mumbo sauce. Yes. Instead of classic marinara, the spicy chicken, yep. it's fried, it's crunchy, that sauce is perfection. Yeah, sweet, sour, got the heat on there yes. as well. And then Matilda. Everything was going well until Tilly snuck in and put something on a pizza that does not belong on a pizza. I agree with you. I'm Man. a purist. No pineapple on the pie. Well, she caramelized the pineapple with this beautiful smoked bacon, and it, she's 21. She said, Dad, my mates love pineapple on a pizza, so she snuck behind my back, came in and put the pineapple on a pizza, and so... so shh, don't tell Gordon that, pineapple pizza. Don't tell Gordon. We're still looking for Tilly. If anyone's seen Tilly out there, let me know, because... Shall we try a piece? She... No, I, I can't. I'm going to give it a bite on TV. Okay. I've never done this. Okay, I'm going to go... I'd rather have mumbo. Mumbo mm. with some wings, with an amazing mm. salad. Okay, the bacon's really good. The bacon's delicious. The bacon's delicious Do you like it. the pineapple? I didn't get any of the pineapple. Damn, I think it's... It needs to be caramelized. It needs some heat on there, but pineapple on pizza... I can cut down with bacon on pizza. That's really, really good. Love that. And so what's your favorite thing on the menu besides the mambo number five, which is mine? You have good salads. The carbonara has peas in it. I really like that carbonara. when I tried it. Um, uh, wings. This one here is a beautiful sweet corn, a chorizo. Wow. So it's quite spicy uh, and delicious as well. We've so got those hotter than hell wings. Um, and then the salads. When you have a pizza and a salad, it's just a really nice balance. And so this with a clever and chili dressing is the die for. Chopped salad as well, a little bit of rosemary, vinaigrette, a little bit of um, red wine vinegar. Everything is just on point. It's delicious. And you guys are the perfect location down here for yeah. street pizza, right next to the arena. It's Sports great. fans are going to be flooding this place to grab some pie on yeah. their way to and from games. It's great, honestly. And also just the, the vibe around here. Yes. Um, the building's historic. Um, we open late on Friday, Saturday evenings. There's a great games room downstairs to have some fun and shoot some pool and shoot hoops. So, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm so happy. We're happy to have you in D.C. Thank you. What keeps you coming back to this city? You know, there's a lot of synergy between London and Washington. It's such an easy hop for us now. Hell's Kitchen was our first big one, as you know, and then Fish and Chips down on the wharf. Um, Street Pizza is our first location in the U.S. I couldn't think of anywhere better. So uh, I think it's just the welcoming, if I'm yeah. honest, because it's just so warm and friendly. And everyone's, everyone's on the move, but everyone's busy and excited to eat good food. And to see the party last night, the crowd here, yeah. everyone was excited to see you and enjoying the food and the vibe. And I will say, last time when I was at Fish and Chips with you and we tried to make a milkshake, I didn't have the best No. No, you're Time. right. It didn't yes. turn out so good. Didn't turn out so good. Um, I'd rather you stay this side of the kitchen than that side. Okay, so let me take care of the milkshakes. Um, after the party last night, yes. we snuck out um, and went to Anjou. Oh, I love the Anjou. Crew. Oh, my gosh. Chef uh, Angel and the crew um, there is so good. It, it, it was incredible. And so, you know, he's a chef chef. And yes. we sat there till late in the morning eating food like no other. I've been to Korea multiple times, but this kid has brought Korea to Washington. And that's what, what makes Washington so special. Just the collaboration and the melting pot of cultures off the charts. So to be part of this, uh, honestly, I'm so happy. Oh, we're happy to have you back. We love that you shared your time with us on Fox 5 today. And guys, I tried to toss some pizza dough with Gordon. We're going to have that coming up next week. And uh, how'd it go? Uh, yeah, let's just say Grandma's Knickers. Grandma Sinatra is not proud of me right now, and all my Italian home cooking videos out the window. Long gone. I make meatballs better. Would you like to try my meatballs Sh next time? No, thank you, Erin. <gasps> no, Come on, Gordon. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> Stick to your day job. You're amazing at it. No, I promise I can cook. <laughs> no, no, no. Stay this side. Please. Oh, well, you know what, Erin, you're with, you're with one of the, the best of the best. I'm sure you've got some really good tips. You can go home and practice. Uh, please tell Gordon, it was so nice to meet him as well last night. And speaking of warm and friendly, that is just how he was with all of us. So mm. we really appreciate him for that. The pizza, delicious, mumbo number five. The vegan induja, zucchini. I mean, the list is that the uh, list goes on the menu there. So but he's not as intimidating a person. No, as, he's, oh, he's like the complete opposite of the okay. TV persona that we're all so familiar yeah. with. Uh, but he'll still drop a you know, a couple of 
the bombs in there. <laughs> yeah, he'll still drop yeah. some of those. But okay. he's super nice. Here's some uh, photos from us uh, celebrating the grand opening of Street Pizza. Shout out to DC Food God, a uh, local foodie influencer, a couple who's awesome. We're going to have them on the show very soon. But it was just a really, really great time, great pizza, and just great vibes all the way around. So mm. this is going to be right around the corner, or it is from the Capital One Arena. So oh, yeah. I, I can definitely see you making a few stops. Oh,